What's good? This is Grits and Gravy, and this is beat tip number two for FL Studio. I'm going to show you how to do uh, trap hats. Basically, you can take any hi-hat sound, and uh, I'm going to be using the generic sound, hi-hat sound in FL Studio. I'm going to turn it into like the, the stabby, like the short um, trap hi-hat. So I'm about to show you how to do that. All right, here we go. Now, as you can see, I have the generic hi-hat. It's like from the 808 kit, and it's already loaded up. So that's how it sounds normally. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna go to instrument. You see where it says INS. We're gonna click on that. Now, let me explain real quick. There are six different knobs. There's delay, attack, hold, decay sustain and release they all do something different so basically everything is going to be pulled to the far left which basically means it's like not active now you want to turn them all to the left except for decay and sustain and you only want to uh, turn them up to the right pretty much by just one notch and if you just heard it, it made like a ticking sound. And now we've turned it into a trap hat. So now let's put it in the piano roll. So let's switch to the piano roll and click record and play. So I'm just gonna play like a basic staggered hi-hat pattern. And then we're gonna quantize it. And I'm gonna show you I showed this kind of in the last video how to zoom in so you can put them on beat better or I guess you could say off beat you know depending on what you're trying to do but you can snap it to the grid so let's quantize it and depending on if your computer is kind of slow it might not snap to the grid very well or it might just snap perfect so you'll have to go in there and edit it. Another quick tip is if you quantize to the duration, it's, it's usually easier so everything is like the same length when you're dealing with, um, when you're dealing with percussion and drums and things like that. When you quantize to the end time, that's more like organic, I guess you could say. That's more uh, that's better for like pianos and stuff like that. So we're just working with hi-hats So as you can see it's, it's getting better It's pretty much on beat But if anything is off then you just drag it over and then you're good to go. So that's good So that's just a quick run through of how to do like trap hats if you wanted to you could get even crazier like double up what I have on the screen here once again, I, I did this in the last video. If you click on the piano on the left side and you drag down, you'll see that little yellow selector box. It'll select everything to the right of the piano. And then you can drag it and make it whatever size you want. So that's going to do it for the, the Trap Hats uh, tutorial. I'll do more tutorials, of course, in the future. Make sure to subscribe and check out all my other videos and I'll see you next time.